Hola, 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 guys. It's me, and I'm coming to you with another Get Ready With Me. And it's going to be just like the title. It's the uh, last days of summer. Um, listen, y'all, I really don't care. <laughs> I am not a fan of summer, so. <laughs> but in the honor of saying goodbye, see you next year, see you in several months, you know. Um, so, you know, why don't we just do one more, I guess, a colorful type of tutorial or get ready with me or anything whatever you want to call it um so yeah let's see maybe i'll look good maybe i'll look crazy who knows so i'm finally going to tap into the wet and wild pac-man collection um i know you guys are thinking miha that's been out for like how many months by, by now but um yeah i just did not get into it i i just didn't open i mean i opened it and looked at it but i just didn't get to using it so I'm gonna get to using it now um and so yeah so I'm gonna look into the products right now I love the packaging first of all it's very cute perfect to collect um so yeah so here is the inside and I'm just showing this um in case there's someone out there that did not look at this collection does not know how it looks or anything like that I'm showing it to you now um, so this is comprised of what this is going to be the game over color palette so here are the colors and everything is sealed I have not opened anything at all oh, okay I'm just gonna have to open it later <laughs> so here's the palette um, I have what is this what is this this is bronzer powder bronzer huh Power Pellets Bronzer. Okay, so next product. I'm just going to go through them as quickly as I can. Um, this is the High Score Blush Palette. So this is nice, cute little palette of blushes going on here. Um, next product, gee, Willigers. I don't know if to cut my nails or what. Okay, so this is the Power Pellets Blush Highlighter. So this is the same um, concept, little palettes but this is a blush all right and then there's these two little okay here is a lip scrub and the lip balm as you can see um, I really don't have very good luck with their lip scrubs if you saw one time I don't remember what collection it was but there was a lip scrub that I tried and it was like oh no girl it left my lips burning um, I'm trying to remember which one it was, but anyway. Um, and then there are these, and these are limited edition, blah, blah, blah. These are the Ghost Gloss, or Ghost Glosses. Yeah, so there are four of them here, four colors. So you have a blue, you have a baby pink, which is looking kind of nice to me right now. You have this kind of peachy color, and then you have this brighter um, pink okay so that is the first um section of this packaging so i'm going to pull off the top packaging this is so totally cute so as you can see the second packaging says ready and then i'm going to take it out and here is the second little batch that's behind here um so first of all there's a nail polish pack which i knew i smelled acetone um, and one of my nail polishes actually leaked in the packaging. So, eh, what can you do? So, this is a pack of one, two, three, four, five polishes. You have a cute yellow, orange, um, red, pink, or hot pink, and blue. I'll probably use these on my toes, but not on my fingers, um, since I usually get gel color. And then they include these two brushes, which are actually rather cute. Um, this is the Waka 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 powder brush, which is right here. And this definitely looks cute because it has like um, the handle has like some, if you see that, moving confetti in it. So that is very cute. And then the other brush, this is the Waka 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 eyeshadow brush, which is very cute. Same concept with the cute little uh, moving around, swimming around glitter. And that, y'all, that's the collection. So you will find this collection still it is still on wetandwild.com um, I'll put the link below or if you just want to go on and look for it yourself that's up to you so I'm gonna go into doing or you know trying out some of these products um, I already stuck on foundation my eyebrows please forgive my eyebrows it seems like every time I'm on here they're bushy or I don't know what's going on with them but I put on foundation 
my face is plastered with powder so I'm baking or cooking or whatever um so yeah so let's get into it all right so I open the palette here are the colors up close they're all mattes with the exception of this one down here this one is like really really super glittery definitely glittery um so other than that they're all and maybe this orange one okay this orange one is kind of shimmery also which I'm I actually am liking that one that one is kind of cute um, all right so I'm gonna go in y'all my brush is clean I'm shocked be happy for me because my brush is clean <laughs> so all right so why don't we try and do I guess I do a colorful lid today so why don't we do that um all right so first thing I'm gonna do I don't know if I should put on concealer now or if I should do it later you know what I'm just gonna go with the flow and do it <laughs> all right so I'm gonna tap into this kind of brownie color over here I don't really see the names etched back here no it's okay let me turn on my mirror and let's see what I can do so I'm gonna take a little bit here and I'm just gonna start with this brush because it's a little, a little more fluffy um, I am going to eventually use the other brush but right now I just want to set some type of base so I'm just gonna carefully just put this color in the crease in both eyes and then we'll continue from there see if I want to deepen it or not I'm not sure yet it's funny because in the palette like it looks brown but when I put it on it looks more of like a like a corally orange so that's the only thing but I'm going to just a little more and I'm thinking maybe there's that orangey color in there maybe I'll put that on top and see what the difference is I'm gonna go into this orangey color here see this one looks more brown but this is actually the color I got which is more of like an orangey thing but so I'm gonna go and see how it looks and just put this orangey color because this one looks more orangey to me but I don't know but so far the colors are very pigmented so I'm just gonna see what happens if I put on this color on top so far it's okay so I am done pretty much blending so after you're done concentrating all that color then you're gonna want a little by little blend it a little upward just so that it looks a little more smooth not so harsh um, so so far this color was really nice it's nicely um, blendable um, it blended really nice um, went where I wanted to go um, the only thing I was I was a little deceived at that brown color because it looked brown to me um, and it came out a little more like on the orangey side but it's okay you know this will just be a bright corally color all right so I'm going to use this cute little eyeshadow brush from now um, I think it's very cute and it's really stable it doesn't feel cheap or anything it actually does feel really nice um, alrighty so I don't know how pigmented these funky colors are so just in case um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put some concealer um, I was gonna put my MAC paint pot I don't know if I should do that or if I should put concealer you know what I'm gonna just put on my paint pot I'm so so indecisive today I think I'm PMSing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go into this Luxie 246. This is a precision crease brush. And I'm just going to dab into here. Into my paint pot. Paint pot from MAC. It's in the color Soft Ochre. And I'm just going to go ahead and just set this as a base on here. Just in case the colors are not as pigmented as I would want. All right, I think I'm gonna start with the same brush because the Wet n Wild one, just to get into the corner, that's gonna be definitely too big. So maybe I will use this, you know, just to re-blend everything. Um, so I'm gonna start with this yellow color right here, bright yellow, or I'm hoping that it's bright yellow. Um, and I'm actually gonna take the same brush that I was using to put on the pink pot. Um, and I'm going to start packing it right here in the corner. I don't know how I don't know how this is gonna look if this is gonna be pigmented 
if I see nothing happening then I'll try maybe with another brush so I kind of want to just do a little colorful look so I'm only doing a small part of the eyelid um, and you can see the color so that's a good thing always hoping that this color comes through so I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that color right in the inner corner and I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other side and then go into the next color really what's important on this color um, or rather when you're doing a rainbow look like this is um, packing the color and keeping patience <laughs> which is one of the reasons why I don't do this color very or rather I don't do this very much because I'm just an imp I'm just an impatient person which doesn't make sense if you're you know a makeup artist or a makeup lover but um, I guess you know everyone has their their character or their trait and that's one of mine I'm just not a patient person all right so I go ahead I went ahead and did that so I'm just gonna go ahead on all right so I laid down that yellow um, I'm going to see <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know do I want to use the orange because I have orange on my lips so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that I'm actually going to um, should I do a little bit of the orange you know what I'll do a little bit of orange hope it to myself I also changed the brush which is a just a standard flat brush and I'm just gonna pack a little bit not too much I mean I have so so much orange in the crease already so I kind of didn't want to use that but here I am packing it on so the orange is okay the yellow was okay I had to pack on quite a bit to get the yellow on there I was hoping that it wouldn't be so much of a not a hassle just you know have to be patient putting it on you know and I'm gonna obviously do it here as well um, and then I'm gonna change it really quick I don't know if I should all right I think I'm gonna leave them at that okay I'm gonna go and get into the next um, color <laughs> all right let us go into this nice kind of aqua blue which is right here that's like a nice turquoise -y, aqua blue, whatever you want to call it. Let's see how it looks. They're not as pigmented as I thought they would be. That's kind of disappointing. And I'm getting quite a bit of fallout, obviously. I mean, you see it. It's just, it's really just so very, very light really hoping that it was going to be a little darker the color Ugh, let's keep trying all right it's looking a little bit darker now it's because I'm really I'm like really packing it on there y'all oh hi I'm just doing the dark blue now uh so yeah it's not as vibrant as I wanted, um, but it's there. <laughs> Can't say I didn't put, you know, I did put my my Mac paint pot on here, but uh, it's kind of struggling right now. It's kind of struggling. It's not as pigmented as I thought. Well, we're gonna make the best of this. I'm gonna tap into the purple. Put that at the end right here at the very very end and I guess I will go over it I'll take the wet wild brush okay so I am done with the lid I'm just taking the brush and just again smoothing out the edges over here Um, I'm a little disappointed with the colors. Um, I think that they are not as pigmented as they look in the palette itself. Um, 
what can you do <laughs> so pretty much did what I could with that so I'm just gonna go ahead um, and I'm going to take one of the brushes here and I guess I'm just gonna go under here I wonder what color you know I have not used the pink so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the pink and I'll just use that on the bottom line I mean, for all purposes, this is, is supposed to be a colorful look. And I'm just using a small pencil brush. This is the Morphe M431. And I'm just going using that pink color. You've got mail. Yep, that's my AOL, y'all. And I'm just going to blend this out. And then take all the powder off my face line and do my mascara and all that stuff you already know the drill and then we're going to continue trying out the other products i hope the other products aren't a disappointment okay so i'm taking the really light glittery shade and i'm putting it ever so lightly in the, <laughs> on the brow bone Ooh, this has so much glitter like i would not recommend this <laughs> i mean if you want but this has like a lot of glitter, so just letting you know that. Okay, so I'm done with the palette. It's not terrible, but um, yeah, colors could have. I mean, I feel like they're already fading, so that's not cool. But anyway, um, all right. So what do I do? I'm gonna line and do all mascara and all that stuff. All right, so I put on my mascara, put on my liner, and all that stuff. Um, so the liner that I used today was actually from my boxy Lux. I don't know if you saw my last video. Um, I totally forgot to use it in that video, but I am using it now. This is the Hank and Henry Stick With It Liquid Eyeliner in Blickety. What is it? Blickety Black. Um, and I actually do like it. My line came a little thicker than I wanted it to, but whatever. So <laughs> we're gonna go into the blush palette. So this is the high score blush palette. So here are the colors right here. And they're very cute. I like them a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm going, this is like a really shimmery one. So I kind of don't want to do that. I'm going to use these two colors up here, um, mix that together and see how that comes out. Okay. Well, the blush has, definitely has pigment in it. So I am just, ooh, I think I may have put a little too much. It's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that in. That really is a pretty color, I like that. And it actually has a little bit of like a luminosity in it, or like a kind of, a, kind of like a shimmer thing going on. So that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and just in case, I'm just going to take some translucent powder and just put that on top just to tone it down a little bit. Just because I feel like it's just a little too much. But it may not be, but in my brain, I think it is. So, <laughs> all right. So, I've done the palette, done that. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and they also have, yeah, they have, oh, you know what? I didn't even use this. What is this? The power palette bronzer I put very little bronzer right now um, these days I'm trying not to put so much I don't know I have a habit of just putting a lot lately um, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear through this and hopefully I can open this oh that was easy okay so it has a little seal okay mm -mm. okay alrighty so these are a couple of little bowls in there so this is a little bronzer thing um, alrighty uh, it looks it looks really dark it looks really dark like I kind of don't even want to use it to be honest so I'm just going to very cautiously yeah that's a lot of color well it looks like a lot of color so I'm gonna just consciously oh yeah mm-hmm definitely mm-hmm this is too much actually I'm going to take another brush uh, that I have back here and I'm going to just blend that out a little more. Yeah, it's definitely... Got to use that one with caution. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and just blend that out a little better so that it doesn't look so harsh. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and try the, the blush <laughs> okay so I'm opening up the blush lighter which is the name of it and here is how the blush lighter looks and I'm gonna see just put my finger in there oh, okay it's really peachy it's a very very light peachy shade so I'm gonna go ahead take my brush and we will fix up a lot of product <laughs> okay let's see how it looks okay that's oh, cute it actually gives it like a nice glow being very careful <laughs> okay this actually looks pretty nice I mean this is definitely you know gonna be better like a blush topper or something like that but, but it's okay I should I put highlighter I don't know I, I have so much crap on that I don't even think I want to do that so yeah all right that's the blush lighter it's okay I guess <laughs> all right let me go into let me see in the meantime should I try on this lip scrub <laughs> listen I am traumatized with their lip scrub and you know what I think it was the what's it called the rose rebel rose that was the collection the rebel rose collection I had their lip scrub from that and it it burned immediately when I put it on um, I can't I mean I, I I mean, I, I can't think differently, you know, that this would be different. It kind of, it smells like green apple, um, but it also smells really, what's the word I'm looking for? Artificial. So I'm going to go ahead and just <laughs> move with caution. Just smooth a little bit of this on. Maybe I should put a little bit more. The minute I feel burning, like this is coming off. So far... I don't seem to be it to be happy. All right, I can happily say um, that my lips do not feel like they're gonna fall off. Um, I took it off and I actually put on the balm that came with it, uh, which kind of smells like, like strawberry to me. I don't know, but I put some on, and it actually has a little tint on it. Uh, so I'm gonna keep this on until it's time to put on one of the lip covers. So, oh, I'm just oh, I'm just glad that that mess didn't mess up my my uh, mouth because girl all right all right what's next oh I guess I should put on my lashes alrighty so pretty much done I am going to pick a lippy now um, so I like their lip glosses personally because they have some really good pigmentation so ah, man and I like all the colors that are here so I'm just gonna go one by one and just swatch them and see in fact how pigmented they are um, so here's the first one. Ooh, it's so cute. Um, this is a gloss. All right, so this one is the color Clyde. Um, and this is like a light peachy orangey color. So here is Clyde. So I'm going to now go into the color Pinky, which is exactly what it is. This is a nice bubblegum pink. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, this one is calling out to me so far. So here is Pinky. That one's really pretty. I like that one. Um, the next one, and this is a hot pink color. This is the color Blinky. <laughs> um, so let me swatch this one here next to. Yeah, this is like a this is like a strawberry pink. You can see right there. And then the last color, this is the blue color, and this is Inky. And I like this blue too. It looks it looks vivid. Let's see if it is. Oh, it is. Ooh. Well, let's see. It looks like it's just a teeny itty bitty transparent, just a little because it's a gloss, but maybe it'll look different on the lips. <sighs> hmm. I kind of want to see how this <laughs> looks. I do love this nice pinky color. I'm really, really liking that one. But I don't know. Maybe I should try okay I'm gonna try on this one first I'm gonna try it on I'm gonna try it on to see how it looks Ooh. okay okay so it's not it's not completely opaque um, it looks like I would have to keep layering yeah definitely so you can see there it's kind of 
I mean it has color but it's not it's not as opaque as I would want it to be definitely not it's definitely a color that you're gonna have to layer um, and it's not it's not gonna give you that opaque effect so this color is a little bit um, disappointing so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to put on pinky um, so I'm gonna take this off okay so I put on pinky and this is my keeper I like it a lot I'm surprised that this one is so much more pigmented than the blue. I would have thought um, otherwise, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put some setting powder. I'm using my Peach Perfect, and I'm going to be using the powder brush that was included with the Wet n Wild. Just gonna go. I don't know if I could put on. I mean, I didn't put highlighter. I don't know if I should, just to see how it look. Maybe I should. Okay guys, so that is it. This is my final look. Um, if you're wondering, I did put a little bit of highlighter. Um, since this is a Wet n Wild video, um, I just used this old Wet n Wild highlighter that I have here. This is in the color You Glow Girl. Um, you should be able to find it on the site. Um, so here is my final look. I hope that you enjoy it or enjoyed it rather. Um, I think it's okay. It came out okay. Um, I kind of just wish that the colors were just a little more pigmented in the palette. Um, that was kind of a kind of sort of a letdown um but other than that it came out okay i did enjoy the blush palette um it was very pigmented as well as the palette bronzer and uh blush lighter um the bronzer was a little bit too dark for me so if you are fair skin like me then you want to be careful with the application um i did enjoy all of the lip colors um was a little disappointed with the blue one because i was really rooting for that one that that would it would be pigmented um but it was not so i am using the pinky which i actually do like very much um the lip scrub did not blow my lips up like a blowfish <laughs> and, and the uh lip balm was pretty okay as well so hopefully i can keep using that um and then you have the nail polishes of course if you get the entire set then you will get every item that you saw here in the video so you can get the complete set or you can get the item separately it is up to you and that's it so thank you guys for watching as we celebrate <laughs> or lament depending on your situation the last days of summer first day of fall starts actually on monday so guys get out there and enjoy this weekend it's going to be absolutely beautiful so thank you guys for watching subscribe like comment and that's about it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.